Welcome to Unreal Open Land. It's a set of open source tools for building landscape in Unreal Engine. So let's see what we can do with this toolkit. Let's go back into uh, Unreal Engine and see what's going on there. And uh, let's uh, get some more light so we can work on the scene a little bit more. All right, now we have enough light and we can go here and there and see what's happening here. So basically here we can see a four layer, four material uh, auto layer you can see here. We have, we have grass section and we have a rock section and I think you can see here on top of there we have some kind of sand layer you can think like as a snow. Uh, so and, and also in between the uh, rock and the ground layer there's a dirt layer as well. So as you can see here, here we have some sort of dirt layer. So we can change how these uh, layers are blending uh, very easily using the material instance. Uh, let me show you that. So here's the material instance. Here first we have a slope mask. So basically that's where the, how we can control the uh, ground, uh, uh, rock and the, uh, the mid layer. All right, uh, let me bias into something like that. So you can see now a lot of, oh, I mean, everything will be rocky. It doesn't look nice. Uh, we need uh, something else. So let me put it back something like uh, minus five. So now a lot of things will be grass. You can see here. So earlier this is this was rocky, but now it's grass. So basically you can control how these things work. Uh, let me put back to minus seven. Uh, that was the default. And also you can look at here like there's a uh, in between the uh, the rock and the and the ground layer. There's a kind of like a dirt layer. Uh, you can see here we, we can control that by using the, this mid layer. So if you put it zero, so rock and there's a sharp edge between the rock and the uh, the ground which is not that bad but uh, so that's that's something there but if we, we can increase this to one so basically now there's a mid layer in between the grass and the rock uh, it looks nice in, in some scenarios here we have like a the snow layer and we've got a top layer so we can control uh, uh it's based on the height as you can hear we call it a top mask right now the threshold is 5000 it's like a height so basically we can control that and you can see uh, here and also we can uh, smooth out the uh, the noise and we can get a nice uh, blending in between the uh, the rock layer and the top layer and uh, it, it's pretty cool and also if you look at the here all the uh, there are grass and uh, trees and you can see a lot of things out there everything will be generated automatically uh, based on the the type of the texture basically in the grass layer you you get the grass and some some trees like that so you can con configure them so let me sh uh, turn off all these things so here we have one more enable grass so i can put it zero and then uh, everything will be gone now we only have the textures and uh, we try to like eliminate the tiling but still you can see the tiling effect uh, it's because of this tex texture but anyway we'll improve that and we have specular enabled uh, like a minus sign that's why there's a glow and you can turn it up and put it there and then uh, yeah like that actually <laughs> this is much better right what else we have and let's say you need to change some uh, textures and you don't need to touch any any material you can simply change them inside this material instance pretty easy to do and uh, we call it a theme so basically you can create your own themes and customize based on your needs because you don't need to use these materials and there are so many materials out there for you to use right and, and also we provide two custom layers so basically you can put your own stuff and paint on top of this here so let me uh, talk about painting so let me open the landscape tool unreal engine landscape tool so basically we have auto layer and we can also paint the ground mid and slope mid slope and top uh, layers individually uh, onto the ground uh, if you like so let me enable grass actually you can uh, have uh, some something in between zero and one as well so it will blend nicely uh, if that's something you want so let's put it back to one i like that way so let's go to this tree so i need to add some sand into there now i have the sand in the top layer so basically i can click here i can uh, simply paint there and then you can see now this grass is blah it's, it's blending nicely 
into the you, you, I can I can put the player inside there I can uh, simply go there if, if, if you think this is too much and actually you can clean it up and based on the weight right and also we can uh, remove the grass uh, or the any trees let's see let's say here I don't want this tree click here and I think I need to improve the tool strength and yep now it's gone so likewise you can uh, yeah <laughs> cut trees here and there and uh, make make room for your gameplay and also we have two custom layers there are no textures right now inside these uh, layers so you can come to the material instance search for custom one and custom two and you can simply add textures of your own and start painting on your landscape so basically i have used the material instance and let's say you you need to like uh, customize you don't like this material instance and you need to customize in a, in a different way material it's it's totally possible i arranged the all the nodes in a very clean way so basically we have layer section and we had the auto auto blending is happening there this is how we generate masks and this is how we generate grass and everything is very clean for an example let's say this is the ground layer you need to go inside that and this is inputs and this is the another layer and this takes care of tiling and you know it's fine if, if you don't understand these things uh, at once but you can drill down and you can see what's happening you can change things as you need but i believe you can do a lot of things without touching this material uh, but working with the material instance and finally this whole set of tools will be open source it will be open source on the mit license so basically you can use it for any purpose you can use it inside your own company you can uh, create uh, games with that and you can build tools with that you can create tutorials you can share with uh, all the tutorial and you don't even need to mention the toolkit as well so this is it and check the description below to get the documentation i hope you would like this thank you